Well, we're almost done with Victory Road and the Elite Four is coming up very fast. I, want to, I wanted to say a few things about the Elite Four and I better say them here since I'm actually going to be busy commentating the battle in, instead of just talking about everything and nothing. First thing on the, the schedule, well that would be the names of uh, the, the Elite Four members. Usually for the gyms you've got uh, you always got some sort of pun on the gym leader's name, like, um, you know, Bugsy, uh, Whitney, for White, if you haven't noticed yet. Um, we also got stuff like um, Fantina, that's a, a pretty easy one too. But for the Elite Four names, that's a lot less common. You've got, in this game, you've got Lorelei, Bruno, Agatha, and Lance. None of them seem to represent anything. And then there's Blue. Do I need to say anything about him? Uh, well, I won't since it's just going to depress me. So let's just move on to Gold Silver Crystal. Will! Will is the first Elite Four member I can think of that has, that has some sort of meaning to his name. Since, well, psychic power is all about, you know, willpower and stuff. I don't think I need to explain it in depth. After that, there's Koga, Bruno again, and there's Karen. The, the, those three, no, I can't think of anything, and as I said earlier, can't think of anything for Lance either. Uh, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. We got uh, Sydney, we got that girl whose name I can't pronounce to save my life, so I can't even, so I'm not even gonna try. And there's Glacia. Ooh, well, that's pretty, o pretty obvious, she's a nice trainer, and yeah, Glacia, Glacier, and Glacia, by the way, is the Japanese name for Glaceon, if you didn't know, and the fourth one is Drake, the dragon user, pretty obvious, and the champions in Ruby and Sapphire, Steven for steel, Wallace for water, pretty basic stuff, once again. For Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, well, we've got uh, Aaron, Bertha, and Lucian. Can't think of anything for those three. Uh, Flint. Flint is a type of rock, and he's, he's using fire, so one would say that doesn't make sense, but Flint can be used to start a fire, so I'm gonna let this one slide. Now, I'll just take a break here from talking about names and all, and I just want to introduce that last block puzzle of the of Victory Road. What I have to do here is that I went all around the third floor just to push that one boulder down a hole. And what I'm gonna do here is that I'm going to push that boulder on the switch over to the left, which is going to make that block just north of me disappear and grant me access to the remainder of Victory Road, which is like um, not very long, uh, that section actually. But back to names, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, I'm gonna say, I can't think of anything for Cynthia. Well, that would be the wrong answer. It's actually a pretty clever play. Uh, it's sort of a... Uh, it involves pattern recognition more so than, act than looking at the actual names. It's because if you take the Japanese name for Cynthia, which is Sharona, and the Japanese name for Sinu, which is Shinu, well, you got the first same syllable. Now replicate that pattern in English. Cynthia, Sinu. There you go, you've got your explanation for where Cynthia's name comes from. Now you might say that's a coincidence, but I find it a little too strange to be a coincidence. It might be a coincidence, I'm not entirely ruling that out, but as I said, it's actually sort of a neat pattern when you think about it. It's more clever than stuff like, as I said, uh, Bugsy or Fentina, but yeah, you get the idea. Um, by the way, I said in the last video that I am growing really sick of those horrendous sprites. And another thing I can't wait to get rid of is the bike music. It's been playing almost non-stop since, what, part 18, 19? Yeah, that's another reason why I'm looking forward to doing that Crystal LP. But here we're gonna have 
a mu some music that's not much more inspired. D D D D E flat D D D D D D D A D D D D. You get the idea? Were they running out of time before they composed that or anything? Okay, I'm, now I'm going to store my excess baggage in the, the PC to make room for that item that I missed near Moltres earlier on. So let me check that first I'm going to store, yeah, that rare candy to add it on top of the several ones I have already. And no room left, not again. Okay, give me a moment. I'm back, and I found a way to make some room. I sold a few excess TMs, but there's gonna be a lot more room soon once I have Moltres gobbled down all those rare candies, vitamins, I'm gonna teach you Fire Blast and Toxic, and now it's time to head to Moltres itself. So the way to do that, the quickest way to do that, would be to take two one-way shortcuts that will lead back uh, into the area where Moltres is and I'm gonna take advantage of the situation to take the item I missed earlier on. And the first shortcut is right here and the second one isn't a lot uh, further in. Now, I've been talking about the Elite Four earlier on, now something else I want to cover is the music that plays during the battles. Here in this generation, for the first three Elite Four members, you've got the regular trainer music, and that's some somewhat weird because Imagine that, you're fighting the third Elite Four member, you're like two or three battles away from the end of the game, and you still get the regular trainer music. Then again, Agatha got um, Hunter, Goldbat, and Arbok, so on second thought, yeah, the, the regular trainer battle music would be more appropriate. Um, as for Gold, Silver, Crystal, we actually get um, the the gym leader music all the way through the Elite Four, and uh, yeah, in uh, red, blue, and yellow, you've got the gym leader theme for Lance as well. And as for Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, the oh, Agility, nice. I'm gonna overwrite Peck because um, well, it's not like it's gonna be really useful against the Elite Four, whereas Agility, well, maybe it could be useful. But yeah, in Fire Red and Leaf Green, they fixed that, and we got uh, the Gym Leader theme for the entire Elite Four. Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald's really cool because, well, the Elite Four has got their own battle music. You don't find it anywhere else in the game. And as for um, Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, well, I guess you could say that. That's their own music, but at the same time, it's the Gym Leader theme, but with a lower pitch. Okay, this should be the last random battle before Moltres, so what I'm gonna do once this Machop is beaten is that I'm going to put Gengar in the lead once again. I suppose I could use Venusaur because, well, it's got Sleep Powder now and Peck and Fire Spin aren't particularly impressive in terms of power, but Fire Spin can get to be really annoying if uh, it gets to connect it, so I'm just gonna, gonna go with the safer pick and go with Gengar even with the lower accuracy. Okay, well that concludes this little marathon. Join me next time as I attempt to catch a flaming bird!